Hey guys, what's up? KSK here and this is the uh, first Swift tutorial on this channel and if you're an iOS developer and if you want to learn the basic uh, generic concepts of the iOS SDK and uh, this is the first tutorial anyway so today's video is about how to create a UI table view uh, uh, using a Swift 4 and Xcode 10 so we're gonna be uh, do everything uh, programmatically using the uh, Swift playground so by the end of the video you will be able to learn how to create this uh, simple application so where you have the a table view cell as well as you can see there is a navigation controller here on the right hand side of the Swift playgrounds where you can see all of the movies list inside the cells if I click on any of the movie name that's going to be taken with another view controller I'm going to be a draw and UI label where you're going to see the a name of the a movie so if I click on the Batman that's going to be say and I'm going to take another view controller. So this is a simple application. So if you are a beginner to the iOS SDK, so table view cells are very, very important. So a table view helps you to populate the data. For example, if you have the list of items and you want to uh, populate it, so you have to use a table views for that. So anyway, so let's jump into the project. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step how to do it and how to make this application. And at the end of the video, you will going to be able to learn it. So anyway, so let's go ahead and click on uh, file, then click on new and then click on playground. Then once you click on playground here, we're going to say a blank page and here we're going to say UI table view demo one. I'm going to say and then click on create. That's going to be create a playground and basically it's going to be a generate a new playground page with sample code here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete the sample code. And right after this importing UI kit, we're going to be go ahead and import the a playground support. A playground support which is a necessary, so uh, it has a feature called a live view. So where you're going to be a preview application on the right hand side of your playground page. So I'm going to go ahead and right after this, we're going to be say the class. We're going to be create a basic uh, class called table view controller. And this is going to be inherited from the super class, a UI table view controller. So I'm going to go ahead and open and closing curly braces right inside this. We're going to call the basic function, the view did load, and then we're going to say super dot view did load. So when you create an instance of the a table view controller, this is the first method which is going to be a trigger. So once you're done creating this a table view controller, I'm going to name this, rename it as a initial table view controller then right after that we're going to say a uh we're going to create a constant called a let a root view controller so which is going to be equals to initial initial table view controller open closing parentheses then i'm going to say a let another constant navigation controller we're going to be attached to this navigation controller navigation controller dot init and we're going to be go with this a root view controller and you can simply pass in the root view controller we're telling basically navigation controller this is a root view controller this is where the execution of the default application will begin from all right so once you are done and creating this i'm going to go ahead and uh, add this to the a playground live view to do so i'm going to simply say playground page dot current and make sure you have to set this property called needs indefinite execution is set to true then we're going to say playground page dot current dot live view which is going to be set to the a navigation controller then right inside this a table uh, initial table view controller we're going to say a self dot view dot background color and set this to the ui color dot white so that we're going to see the uh, views properly then we're going to say a self dot a navigation controller dot navigation bar that prefers large titles which can be set to true and then we're going to say self dot navigation item dot title and telling the navigation controller that the title of the a uh, root view is going to be the a uh, movies list so if i go ahead and run this code on the right hand side you will be able to see uh, the a table view along with this uh, default uh, uh, navigation item which is called the movie movies list this is a root view controller and right now we're gonna be go ahead and populate the data into this uh, cells to do so, uh, the first thing we need to do inside this video load, we have to register a, a cell so that we can reuse that cell. So to do so, self dot a table view dot register. We're gonna say uh, UI table view cell dot self, and then we're gonna pass the cell identifier. It's gonna be cell ID, and this is basically a string constant. We're gonna say a let a cell ID. It's gonna be string. 
and we're gonna say a default re usable cell so this is just an identifier so we can use this identifier to redraw our DQ a new cell very easily so then right above this initial uh, table view controller we're gonna create a constant called let a movies list this is gonna be of type string array uh, we're gonna be go ahead and uh, write some names here inside this array we're gonna say spider-man these are the random names uh, I'm gonna say interceptor uh, we're gonna say Juman J. There is a Black Panther, I guess. And enough. We have the four table, uh, four movies list. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this again. Uh, put a comma. That's it. And we have a total of eight items inside this movies list. Next thing, what we're gonna do is. We need to tell the a table view controller our table view how many rows in a section that we really needed. So the rows are basically these are the rows. If I click on this uh, button, I'm gonna click on this play button. So these are the uh, cell rows. You can see these are the cell rows. So it's gonna start from zero, one, two, three, and each section. So we're gonna go ahead and override the method called a number of rows in a section. So we have to tell the table view that we want a rows based on the a number of items inside this movie list array we're going to simply say movie list dot count all right that's going to be draw the number of rows in the particular section then in order to populate the data we need to i uh, call the a uh, override the method called a cell for row at index path so this is a method which is actually expecting to return a ui table view cell so we're going to be go ahead and create a constant called a let r cell which is going to be equals to a table view that a DQ with the cell identifier and index path. We're going to simply pass the a cell identifier. This is a cell identifier. It's going to be say cell ID, and we're going to say index path. So basically, all of these are coming from the input parameters. And then if I hold Option key and click on this R cell, that's going to be say this is a type UI table view cell. This is what it's expecting to be a return. So I'm going to say a return R cell. Then right after that, inside this, we're going to say R cell dot a text label dot text which is going to be equals to a movies list opening closing square brackets and we're going to say index path dot row so basically it's going to be a uh, index path is an input parameter we're going to be take the row value and then we're going to be tell the movies list we want to a uh, input each item from top to bottom all right so next thing we're going to say change the uh, font of the text label we're going to say font ui font dot bold we're going to set this to 20 points uh, then we're going to say r cell dot text label we're going to change the color of the text that's going to be the ui color dot blue then i'm going to click on this play button so once i click on the play button you can see all of the items are actually uh, populated uh, into this a uh, table view all right so now I'm going to go ahead and set this property called accessory type to a disclosure indicator so that we are telling the user if you click on the, any of the item that's going to be taken to the a, another view controller you can see it. So that is what we have done so far. So now last but not the least uh, the ending part of the video if you click on this that's going to take to another view controller. Uh, for that we have to a, uh, create a new class it's going to be say class a show movie name view controller so this is a basic view controller which is going to be super class or inherit from the UI view controller then we need to call the view did load super dot view did load then we're going to be go ahead and uh, create a, a label which is going to be positioned the center when we click on the any movie name from the table view that's going to be take to this uh, view controller and then that label will have the name so uh, inside this uh, show movie uh, name view controller, we need to create a label. So that's going to be the say a lazy war a movie title name. So which is going to be of type UI label, which is going to be equals to opening closing parentheses. Uh, excuse me, open closing curly braces and parentheses. Basically, we're constructing a closure block in order to configure the a movie title name. So we're gonna say a let a label, which is gonna be equals to UI label, and we construct at the CG rect. We're gonna say uh, this uh, x uh, floating point value zero zero. We're gonna say two hundred and sixty. So this is the one. We're gonna say return this a label. 
we're going to say a label dot text color which is going to be equals to ui color dot blue and a label dot background color which is going to be set to ui color dot uh blue i guess text color is going to be the white and we're going to say a label dot i font which is going to be equals to ui font dot bold 20 points and we're going to say a label dot um, what we needed when causing here let's say text alignment which is going to be set to dot center and basically we're configuring the a movie title name we're going to say a label dot layer dot corner radius we're going to add a corner radius to the label we're going to say a label dot frame dot height divided by two basically we're taking this height here and dividing by two we're going to give a beautiful corner radius and we're going to say last but not the least label dot translates auto resizing mask into constraints it's going to set to false we're going to be adding to set up some constraints so that it's going to be positioned exactly at the center of the view or the super view so next we're going to say inside this video load self dot view dot add sub view we're going to simply pass in the movie title name all right once you pass in we're going to say ns layout constraint dot activate we need this one opening closing square brackets inside this we're going to set up some constraints basically we need a four constraints the center x anchor the center y anchor the width anchor and the height anchor so that's it and we're going to say a self dot we're gonna say self dot uh, movie title name dot a center x anchor that constrained so which is gonna be a this is the one we want say this one we're gonna say view dot a center x anchor and we're gonna say self dot a movie title name dot a center y anchor that constrained which is gonna be equals to a view dot center y anchor comma and then say self dot movie title name dot width anchor dot constraint we're going to set this one the constant float and we're going to say self dot movie title name dot height anchor dot constraint which is going to be set to 60 points the default point all right so once you set up the uh, height anchor and we are good to go and we are done creating this uh, um, uh, to a movie title name and we have set up some constraints so that we're going to be a see exactly at the center position and uh, last but not the least, uh, we need to do one more thing inside this uh, initial table view controller. So when we, uh, if we click on play button here and you can see all of these cells are actually loaded properly. If I select on it, currently there's nothing happening, right? So to do so, we're going to say uh, we need to override a method called a dead select row at index path. So we need to override it. I need to add a override right after this right before this function name and then uh, above about this initial table view controller we need to create a constant uh, variable called a selected index path so which is going to be of type uh, index path for now it's going to be set to the optional and inside this I did select a row at index path so when I say selected index path we're going to simply pass in the index path here so this is the one we are passing and storing into the selected index path uh, when the user uh, clicks on particular a cell here that is going to be returned the index path uh, of the current item into this uh, variable here then using that we're going to be say uh, right about right after this I forgot to do it we're going to create a constant called a second view we're going to say a show movie name view controller opening closing parentheses then we're going to tell the navigation controller we want to a push this view controller say uh second view and then we're going to need an animation by calling this method a push view controller and that's it and now uh if i click on it play button and you're going to see the moment of the truth and you can see there is a nothing happening over here and you can see there is a no con radius is also applied the reason being is that and we have to set this property called um, inside the show movie uh, name view controller so we're going to say set this property called flip to bounds is set to true so that we're going to see it and we also set the a self dot view dot background color which is going to be set to dot white and right about after this constraint setup we're going to say uh, movie title name dot text which is going to be equals to movies list opening closing square brackets we're going to say self selected index path dot row and that's it and if i run this code and basically i'm going to see the uh, spider-man anyone if i click on any cell inside the table view that's going to be taken another view controller 
and uh, you can see the power of the navigation controller automatically it's going to be provide a back button so that it can move back to the uh, previous view controller very very easily so yeah that's pretty much about it i hope uh, you like this video and this is how programmatically you can create a table view and then populate the data into this as table view cells very easily and i hope you like this video and if you do uh, consider it a uh, liking uh, by smashing the subscribe button over there as well as like this video anyway so this has been ksk and if you want this kind of tutorials on this channel and do let me know in the comment section box down below thank you so much for watching i will catch you in my next one